Welcome back to Geotactics, where we delve into the forgotten pages of history. Today, we'll unravel a significant but often overlooked chapter, the Japanese invasion and occupation of French Indochina during World War II. As the world grappled with the horrors of war, this Southeast Asian region became a battleground for conflicting interests. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our historical explorations. Our story begins in the 19th century when France established its colonial presence in Southeast Asia, forming French Indochina, which comprised Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. Fast forward to the 20th century and we find ourselves in the tumultuous era of World War II. As the war unfolded, Japan, already entrenched in its expansionist ambitions in Manchuria and China, sought to establish dominance in the Asia-Pacific region. Just before the French defeat by the Germans and into July 1940, Japan made a series of demands including the ability to station and provide transit for Japanese combat troops through the region. This would also serve a second purpose for Japan in blocking any reinforcements or arms to China to be sent through the region. Furthermore, the strategic importance of Indochina lay in its abundant resources, including rubber, oil and minerals, which were crucial for Japan's war machine. The control of Indochina was of vast strategic importance to the Japanese Empire. And so, on 22nd September 1940, the Japanese launched a swift and efficient invasion of French Indochina. Facing little resistance, Japanese forces occupied key locations, securing control over airfields, naval bases, and transportation routes. The Vichy French administration, though officially retaining nominal control with over 30,000 troops, offered little resistance. The Japanese had taken control and began to exploit the region's resources for their war effort. Forced labour, inflation and scarcity of goods became rampant, adding to the suffering of the already oppressed population. As the war progressed, so did resistance against the Japanese occupation. Guerrilla warfare, sabotage and underground movements gained momentum. The Viet Minh, led by the charismatic communist leader Ho Chi Minh, played a crucial role in resisting both the French colonial authorities and the Japanese occupiers. The Japanese forces on 9th of March 1945 officially took full control of the region, ousting the Vichy French administration. But this was a short-lived victory, as Japan faced mounting defeats with Allied forces closing into their mainland. Their grip on Indochina weakened. In August 1945, as Japan surrendered, their occupation of French Indochina also came to an end. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the forgotten pages of history. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow history enthusiasts as it helps the channel grow. Until next time. Cheers.